Hello and welcome to this very quick video on a couple of things that I've got in here that probably aren't worth a video in their own right, but just to let you know they're about. First one is this thing here. This is the ELRS Lite. It is the RX 2.4 GHz flat antenna. Beta FPV are making a lot of stuff for ELRS at the moment, and I really hope they work more closely with the project moving forward to make sure that everything they do is fully supported. I use a lot of the Beta FPV stuff here for the ELRS testing that I do, and it works very well, but sometimes they do do things slightly in advance of it being supported by the code. So big props to the ELRS project guys, the developers, for making sure that this stuff all works. This is a very cute little idea for those situations where you want a very small, compact receiver. Second thing to talk about then is this thing here. This is the T-Pro self-locking switch. So if I take this out of here, it looks like the back of a T-Pro radio but it has one big difference. If I grab one of the T-Pros here and we pull it out to have a look. Again, uh, I'll put a link down below to the review of these T-Pro radios. Um, this is a new back piece for this radio, but what it's doing, it is replacing one of the rotary controls that has a central uh, indent with a switch and this switch is a, a two position switch so it latches so that would allow you to use it uh, as a switch rather than a slider so it's just a case of removing the back plate and then plugging one single cable in which is the cable that this existing control connects to and then you can modify it. Now I do like the idea that Jumper are offering this as an option which means that you can customize the radio controls to be more what you like. I think this is quite a nice idea because to be honest I'm not a fan of the existing controls that they have on this particular radio. These kind of rocker switches rather than the regular switches that you have on lots of other radios I find as a pilot that's more used to the older styles, uh, it's just hard for me to kind of feel exactly where it is just by touching it with my fingertips. But this in particular is for a thumber, a natural place where your finger fits. So it does actually fit over the new back. So just to let you know that this is also available. So if you want a uh, T Pro, but actually something like the latching switch would be more use, then this is available as well. Now, one of the things I've realized while I've been uh, making this video is that this radio is one that I'm not going to use, which means it's giveaway time. So this radio here is the one that has the, it's the T-Pro with the four in one module inside. So what I'm gonna do, standard stuff, like, comment, subscribe. I'll pull the names out of the hats in seven days, uh, just to make sure that people uh, have actually watched the end of the video, because the reason I'm doing this on a Sunday and not kind of telling everyone that it's a giveaway is to reward those of you that watch my content, irrespective of whether or not it's to try and win a prize. If you include the magic word, Painless360, in the comment, just a way to try and make sure that it's just rewarding you loyal viewers that watch the video for everything, not just the giveaway stuff. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.